if I could just take up your point about that stand, Jimmy. It's uh, anniversary time, actually, uh, this week, because you rightly said the stand began to rise in 1972. Actually, it wasn't opened until August 1974, and it's seen quite a lot of ups and downs in the meantime in Chelsea's fortunes for tonight's match. Chelsea are, in fact, unchanged because Kerry Dixon passed a fitness test today. Inside, it's the one which beat Liverpool in the charity shield at Wembley. That was possible because number 10, Paul Bracewell, who came from Sunderland, passed a fitness test on a bruised foot this afternoon. Gets the match started. Chelsea in all blue, playing from left to right. Here's David Speedy. Back to Doug Rugby, who came in the summer from Aberdeen. And Speedy was on stuff. They thought they'd cleared. Just over a quarter of an hour gone. Speedy's header and Dixon, and they nearly let another one in from a similar position. That's the Chelsea 1 2 of Speedy and Dixon. Well, the first real attempt on goal, breaking the stalemate, coming after around 15 minutes. Speedy's there with Mountfield, Dixon is there too, John Bailey with the header, Jasper with the return. Nevin, can he wriggle his way out of that tight area with three defenders round him? He knows the way. Jasper, chipped in for Dixon, that's useful. And Bailey missed it, and Dixon hit the bar. Well, that was a deal. started a run on the far side, but it's gone over his head. Stevens is following up. Heath is in there. And not a good clearance by Nevin. Bailey. Tucked back by Heath to Bracewell and then square to Peter Reid. Now Gary Stevens. Out to Trevor Stephen. Three in the centre for Everton. Four now. Stevens again. And Nijveski didn't judge that and Richardson pulled it back to Sharp. And Sharp had a chance, two chances, and failed to take them. Very much. And Pates, useful looking ball, and it's put Speedy on his way. Dixon's in the centre, Cannibal's joining him there, and so is Nevin. Speedy's cross, Dixon's header. And he got away from his marker. Did Bailey is looking for Sharp. But before he can find him, the referee has blown the half-time whistle. There's no score. Chelsea will feel they've had the better opportunities. Howard Kendall, who remembers this ground very well as a player, scored a memorable goal here in a charity shield match some years ago when uh, Everton were champions and Chelsea were FA Cup holders. Everton are in the silver grey. There's no score. Heath. And it was Mountfield has come up from the back, Reed chipped it in, Mountfield flicked it on, it came off a Chelsea player who was Lee, and Nijveski held it on the line. Hasn't been easy. Nevin. Oh, and Speedy got through there, and Dixon with a chance. And that was... Probably the best chance he's... Oh, and that was a good effort. Sharp and Mountfield are pro proving difficult there for Chelsea to pick up. Sharp came in behind Mountfield and didn't miss by much. Sharp with the header. They've got to make it pay. They can. This is Trevor Stephen. Reed in by Bracewell and Richardson's coming up on the left and coming inside and oh, that's a good goal and Richardson shows again what a good little finisher he is when he gets the sight of goal and produces what the strikers couldn't do a goal to put Everton into the lead he got one or two useful goals last season Kevin Richardson and when that ball went over Colin Lee's head he came back inside the fullback Nijveski was covering his near post, but Richardson found a gap.
Well, I've always liked uh, Kevin Richardson. There's no question about it. He's a, a, you know, a fine player who loves to score. But just look now. Really, Colin Lee there had his eye on the player and not the ball. He really was sleeping. It, it did show a lot of initiative, the way that he flicked the ball back with his right foot to go past him. Which has not helped. This is Mountfield. And he's in there this time, and so is Bracewell here. It was tucked back for Bailey. In fairness to Everton, Jimmy, they'd had a fairly good ten minutes up to that point, hadn't they? They just got Chelsea rocking, really, and... and... Ruby was there. Oh, that's an overhead kick by Nevin. It stayed in play, too, and Richardson cleared. Fifteen minutes to go here at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea nil, Everton one. The goal scorer, Kevin Richardson. Came in the 57th minute. Trevor Stephen. Good effort, oh, good save by Nijbeski. One other example of a wide player cutting in for a shot. Trevor Stephen this time. Came inside Doug Rugby. Saw the possibility of the far corner and Nijbeski at full stretch. Corner to Everton. And McLaughlin has cleared it for another corner. Heath, oof, if he'd met that with a full-blooded volley. Dixon and Speedy with two defenders against them. Good flick by Dixon and back to him from Speedy. And a good block too by Gary Stevens. Swift counter-attack by... McLaughlin, oh, and Southall didn't make it. Here comes Spackman. Moment of hope there for Chelsea. He doesn't drop many. McLaughlin. And Colin Lee had joined the attack there, and that might leave Chelsea one short at the back. It's uh, Trevor Stephen on the ball with Heath now. Ratcliffe's made a tremendous run from defence. He's over on the far side of the area. This is Stephen. Mickey Thomas got the challenge in. Now it's Stevens. Heath. Stephen again. Reed taking over now. Richardson has gone wide. Bailey. Into Heath. He's tricked Spackman as Heath, but Spackman. Knew a way around that, and recovered admirably. Didn't pass the ball so well. Cannaville. It's really serious of errors this match at times, but Cannaville stopped in his tracks by Brace towards him. And Cannaville, and Nevin, and it had to be helped off the line there with uh, Southall very pleased at the presence of Stephen, I think. Nevin. There's Trevor Stephen on the line. Thomas. And here comes Spackman. Trevor Stephen taking up the position on the goal line, and uh, as Colin Lee put the ball in there. You'll see what happened. It was flicked on. Nevin had the final touch, and Stephen, and there's a foul in the area, which gives Everton a free kick. So, was that Chelsea's last chance, I wonder? Because there are only four minutes remaining here at Stamford Bridge. And they trail 1-0. Oh, oh, and it was by Pates and Stevens. Stephen. And back by Spackman. And it's long and hopeful. Cannibal is chasing John Bailey in front of him.
Chelsea might have to find a little bit more variety in their attacking play if they're going to slice apart first division defences. Speedy. Oof. Appeals for handball there by two Chelsea players. Referee had a quick look and shook his head. It was driven actually at the player rather. And that's flicked in, intended for Nevin. He couldn't reach it. As he did uh, stretch out there, he made contact with an Everton defender. Kevin Ratcliffe. Chelsea are going to salvage now, has got to come very late in the day. Rugby. It's one to chase for Nevin, and Southall has committed himself here. And Gary Stevens conceded the corner. As Nevin threatened, Southall came a long way out, might have misjudged it slightly. And now he's up there with Rugby and McLaughlin. And it's hooked back in by Pates, that was a good punch, under challenge by the goalkeeper. And the break is by Adrian Heath, and there are two on this side of the field. Peter Reid, and outside him, Trevor Stephen. And Richardson's made a good run down the centre. Ruby to clear. Stephen. Reid. Even again. Bracewell, Everton calling the tune again here. Sharp. Heath. And Nijveski quick to find Kerry Dixon. The tackle's coming in quickly from Mountfield. Here's Trevor Stephen. We're into the last minute of the normal period. There may be some stoppage time. Everton happy to keep possession. Peter Reid. Gary Stevens. There's Heath. Sharp. And now Stephen. Richardson's made his run into the centre. Still Stephen. Pull back for Bracewell. Gary Stevens wide. And uh, Doug Rugby. And Chelsea will have to hurry now. We're going into time being added on for stoppages. And there certainly isn't much of that. And John Bailey and Canada are having a kick after the final whistle, and the linesman's had to step in. An ugly incident there with the game officially over, and Canada being held back there by the linesman with the yellow flag. Michael Topping, otherwise that could have got ugly, or more so than it was. John Hollins having to come in there and take uh, Canada away. John Bailey, the Everton player involved. So an explosive finish to what has proved to be Chelsea's first defeat in 20 Canon League matches, their first defeat in Division 1 since promotion, and Everton's first league points of the season picked up with a 1-0 win, a match which hinged very much on a miss by Kerry Dixon early in the second half, followed by a good Everton spell culminating in the goal from Kevin Richardson on 57 minutes. After that, Everton were practised and knowledgeable in the way they kept the lead and John Hollins' Chelsea side didn't quite have the edge or the imagination to pull it back. So the final score at Stamford Bridge, Chelsea 0, Everton 1.